Today I'm going to show you what we purchased and how we installed our DIY Murphy dining table. purchased our wood from a local Home Depot and we found a great employee to show us a couple options after we explained what we were looking for. First option was this melamine board and it may work for some people but I wanted something a little bit lighter for our space. Going with pine, it was the best bang for our buck. It was light and it had some of the prettiest knots in it. Me too. And then we put two of them beside each other and that would be and it's wide enough so this is seven inches wide it's just over seven inches so oh, it'd, it'd be like 15 14 and a half 15 inches okay oh i don't think this bracket is the one that i found we measured our island before we went to Home Depot, so we had them cut the wood right there for us. Um, but we wanted more room for the dogs and the ability to, when we replace this, we have a couple of options for couches that we're gonna replace it with. So rather than having limited space, we can take it out a couple inches if we need to and it won't be a big deal. But these are the chairs. They're $25 each, so 50 for two. Worth it in my opinion. The reviews are great, like 4.5. There's hundreds of reviews. This is the name of the chairs, and that is the item number, T-E-R-J-E. -E. Worth it so far. It comes in three different colors. This is the black, and it comes in white and a different color that I don't remember. It has these little um, holes at the top, so you can have a little hook on the wall and just have them placed there. I'll move this one just to show you how slick they are. So this is still leaning up against the wall, but even so, it takes up like two inches off the wall, which is outstanding. That's great for living in an RV. And the chairs fell once already, so the dogs are kind of freaked out. But I'm hoping to have them both up against the wall like this. I made Eddie sit on it before I took off the tags just to make sure it was comfortable enough. But in reality, is like you won't be sitting on this chair for longer than a meal. And when we have people over, they'll often be outside. And if we do need to use them, we can use these outside. We do have plenty of storage or seating out there. But when we have friends over, this should be comfortable enough for them. And it takes up those. <laughs> oh boy. Can you? we found which side of the wood looked best for our tabletop I put X's on the inside of the wood so we knew which sides would be facing up and which ends needed to be connected cool are you sure we don't need something to connect them no I'm telling you there's three holes there one 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 in the middle two and three three hmm yeah you don't think that'll make this last one weak? Yeah. Once we start eating on, like, directly out of the cast iron skillet. I think we'll be fine. And you want to melt? It was Eddie's idea to put the L brackets towards the inside of the island, so any weight that was on the brackets would be more dispersed evenly, and it would be more sturdy in general. Medium, 100 grit, sanding discs. Of course, we sanded everything outside because we live in an RV and we created a lot of noise for the park. <laughs> oh, that's better. Yeah. Okay, so. It'll be very porous, so. Don't spill anything? Yeah, basically it does. But the good thing is, it 
it's not stained. You can get some on it. Just take a quick pass out of the sand. No, it's not stained anyway. <laughs> used a circular sander to sand both ends of the plank as well as the sides just to reduce any chances of any splinters and Eddie took the sander and did the edges to make them a little bit more round. Oh yeah. How off do you think that is? Quarter of an inch. Just maybe, a quarter? Maybe oh no more than a quarter. Okay. This is the island before the table. This is the top of the island. Please ignore that. We found these brackets on Amazon for only $20 and they come in a couple different colors. I'll link it below, but the back edge here is what would be up against the island and the lever, after it's clicked into place, would release the L bracket. This is the drill to drill the hole, right? So then he was just making sure the same width. Yeah, it looks good here. Looks good in real life. All right, so. Here we were just making sure that the tabletop would sit um, flush up against the island and not interfere with anything. After Eddie measured that both brackets were evenly in both of the spaces, he marked them with a pencil and then he took it to the other side and made sure that they were all marked evenly on the opposite end as well. only use the drill for the middle and the bottom holes of the L bracket. The top one we had to go in and screw it in by hand just because the drill wouldn't fit. The baby screws they come with. He went around with his screwdriver and tightened all of the screws as well.
better than nothing. And we get the next view of the table. That's true. Or we can lay our food out there when we have guests. Oh, yeah. A nice little bar, more counter space. Do you like your invention? Everyone's inspired to complete some DIYs themselves. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you Saturday.